Hello and welcome to Stotch Ross Mouse key skill video on sharing an amount in a ratio with three parts. Here's the question, Libby, Mike and Chibokum share £96 in the ratio 3 to 2 to 7. Find how much money each of them will receive. Now a strategy that works with most ratio questions is to work out what one part is worth and I'll use that strategy in many of these videos. Now what do I mean by one part? Well, in the ratio, it tells us the different parts. So for each three pounds Libby gets, Mike gets two pounds and Chibokum gets seven pounds. And we can think of these as parts. So for each three parts that Libby gets, Mike gets two parts and Chibokum gets seven parts. Now let's think about this value that's given. They're sharing 96 pounds. What does the 96 pound represent this situation? It represents the total amount they have. And therefore we need to think about the total number of parts we have. So the total number of parts we have, three plus two plus seven is 12. So we have 12 parts in total in the ratio and that represents that total amount of 96 pounds. And then as per my advice, we work out what one part is worth. So if 12 parts is worth 96, to get to one part, we need to make it 12 times smaller. 12 divided by 12 will give us one. So we also need to divide the 96 by 12, and I think that's eight. Yes, it is. So one part is worth eight pounds. Now, let's think about how many parts each person has. Libby has three parts in the ratio. So three parts is three times as much as one part. So three times the eight pounds would be 24 pounds. Mike just got two parts of this 96 pounds. So we want to work out what two parts is worth. If one part is worth eight, two parts will be two times eight pounds, which is 16 pounds. And finally, Chibokum, he gets seven parts in the ratio. So you want seven times the eight pounds, and that would be 56 pounds. So those are the final amounts. And if we check to see whether these add up to 96 pounds that they were sharing, 24 plus 16 plus 56 is 96, which is the correct total amount. 